Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded triangle and this uh, green shaded trapezoid fully confined uh, in a quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, blue shaded triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle. And moreover, uh, this uh, blue triangle is uh, a right triangle as well. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle has been given to us as uh, 25 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue shaded triangle ACO. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length is equal to this uh, side length. I'm going to label uh, this side length uh, as lowercase y and this side length uh, lowercase y as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height. And for this uh, blue shaded triangle, this uh, y is our height and this uh, y is our base as well. And the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle has been given to us as 25. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 25 equals to a half uh, times uh, base is y and the height is y as well. So therefore, let's go ahead and simplify. So we got y square divided by 2 is equal to 25. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to isolate y square. And here we can see 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, y square value turns out to be 50. So thus our y square value turns out to be 50. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle ACO. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, AO is our radius uh, lowercase uh, r. And now we are going to solve for uh, r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, lowercase r is our hypotenuse, whereas our two other legs are y and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, y square plus y square equal to lowercase r whole square. And now we can see our y square value is 50. So therefore, I'm going to substitute uh, value 50 over here as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, our r square value turns out to be 100. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore, we can see our radius lowercase r turns out to be 10 uh, centimeter. So thus our radius uh, r turns out to be 10 centimeter. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular CP on this side uh, AO. And please bear in mind that these points uh, D, C and P are collinear. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle since these two side lengths are same. And CP is the perpendicular. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, OP. And since the radius is uh, 10, so therefore this uh, AP length is going to be half of that one 5. And this side is going to be 5 centimeter as well. And now let's make another observation. We can see this uh, blue triangle is an isosceles triangle. And this angle is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, and this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now we know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, in this triangle uh, OPC, this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side uh, OP is going to be equal to this side uh, CP. Both have equal uh, lengths. 
So therefore, if this side length is 5, then this uh, CP length is going to be 5 as well. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OP length uh, is uh, 5. So therefore, uh, this uh, DE length is going to be 5 centimeter as well. And in this uh, next step, I have uh, dropped this perpendicular CF uh, on this uh, side uh, OB. And now we can see that this uh, side uh, CP is going to be equal to this side uh, FO. Since this side length is 5, so therefore this uh, FO segment length is going to be 5 centimeter as well. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, x then this uh, ef segment length is going to be x uh, as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, side uh, eo length is going to be x uh, plus 5 so i can write uh, x plus 5 over here and in this uh, next step i am going to connect uh, this uh, center o and this uh, point uh, d as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DEO and we can see that this uh, DO is our radius uh, R and we know the radius uh, of this quarter circle is uh, 10 so therefore uh, this uh, hypotenuse DO length is going to be 10 centimeter and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again A square plus B square equal to C square and in our case, our hypotenuse is 10, whereas our two other legs are uh, x plus 5 and 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got x uh, plus uh, 5 whole uh, square plus uh, 5 square is going to be equal to 10 uh, square. And now let's recall this famous identity. a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 10 uh, x uh, plus uh, 25 and plus uh, 5 square is going to be 25 once again equals to 10 square is uh, 100 and in this uh, next step i have combined uh, these two like terms so i got 50 over here and now we are going to subtract uh, 100 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, we are ended up with uh, x square plus uh, 10x minus 50 is equal to 0. So thus, we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation. And we are going to solve it for x uh, by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here in our case, uh, our coefficient for uh, x square is 1. The coefficient of uh, x uh, is uh, 10, b equals to 10. And finally, our c constant is uh, negative 50. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula. So x is equal to b is uh, 10. So this is going to become negative 10 plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, 10 uh, square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 50 all over 2 times our a value is 1 and in this uh, next step uh, 10 square is uh, 100 and uh, negative 4 times uh, negative 50 is going to give us positive 200 and in this uh, next step 200 plus 100 is going to give us uh, 300 over here and now let's focus on this uh, radical uh, square root of uh, 300 this is if we simplify that is going to give us 10 times square root of uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step we can see negative 10 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, negative 5 and likewise uh, 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5 as well and now we are going to split uh, these uh, positive and negative uh, signs so therefore x could be written as uh, negative 5 plus uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and the other value is going to be x equal to negative 5 minus uh, 5 times square root of uh, 3 and now we can see this uh, is going to give us a negative value 
for x and we know our x is a side length so therefore uh, this is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject uh, this negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, this uh, x value negative 5 plus 5 times square root of 3 so thus our x value turns out to be negative 5 plus uh, 5 times square root of 3 and this value of x could also be written as the other way around we can write it uh, as 5 times square root of 3 minus 5 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height h times the the sum of the bases a plus b all over 2 and in our case uh, our height uh, h is 5 and our bases are uh, x uh, and x plus 5 so therefore the green trapezoid area is going to be 5 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, plus x uh, plus uh, 5 and now if we combine the like terms so that's going to give us 5 uh, divided by 2 times uh, 2 x uh, plus uh, 5 and now we can see our this uh, x value is uh, 5 times square root of 3 minus 5 so i am going to substitute uh, that value over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted this x value over here and now we are going to distribute uh, 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and here if we combine these uh, two terms that is going to give us uh, negative 5 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on uh, this part uh, inside this bracket and we can see 5 is in common so this could be written as uh, 5 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus uh, 1 as you can see in this uh, next step and here in this uh, next step I am going to multiply 5 times uh, 5 so therefore this uh, green trapezoid uh, area is going to be 25 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 minus 1 centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, the area of this green trapezoid turns out to be 25 times 2 times square root 3 minus 1 all over 2 centimeter square and that is going to be equal to 30.8 centimeter square as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye